In this video, we're going to show you how to make this beautiful machine embroidery dimensional butterfly quilt. It comes with gorgeous quilting pattern for your border, for your offset blocks are beautiful, and for underneath your butterflies, there's also a pattern there. They just turn out so cute. I think this video will show you how easy it is to succeed. The butterfly, it's going to be two hoop beans, and the first hoop bean will be on water soluble interfacing to make the dimensional wings. Then the second hoop bean will be to make the background block. So you hoop your large hoop with water soluble interfacing, I spray adhesive, some extra scraps on the back and I make sure it's really tight in there that it's not going to move on me. That's really important. And I've made two sandwiches for the two different colors of wings and I cut them. The dimensions are in your pattern. Wrong sides together with thin polyester bonded batting in between. And I'm going to place them over where those wings will stitch. And I'll take it to the machine and I'll stitch a single stitch and I'll show you what we'll do after that. It did the single stitch, which will shape the wings, and I did let it stitch out the quilting in the middle, and then I trim really, really close to that stitching. There's a little bit of fabric there, but I make sure it's consistent, just a little bit of fabric, but it's pretty close to that single stitch. Then I'll take it back to the machine. It will do a zigzag around those raw edges and then it will satin stitch. The machine finished out the satin stitch and notice it didn't satin stitch in certain areas where the body is going to overlap because that just creates bulk. Then we're going to place one layer of fabric over polyester batting and place it over the body area. Let it single stitch to create the shape then we trim away the extra fabric and it will zigzag and satin stitch. And that's how we get the really cool dimensional wings. The next part of making this butterfly is to make the background fabric with the head placed in the right part. What you're going to do is Xerox your paper pattern and add with your ruler and half an inch to that outside square that's printed on the pattern. Then you take your background fabric and you can keep it all in one piece. You don't have to cut it in squares yet. Then you're gonna align it with your paper pattern and you'll mark the outside square. And I just use pencil because that's in your seam allowance, it won't show. And then little dots where the head is placed and a dot where that antenna come into the head and a little dot at the end of the antenna, just a light dot. Then you'll take and hoop that fabric so that the machine will stitch the head exactly where you marked it. And I put tear away on the back interfacing or water soluble, just keep, it just has to be where the head and the antenna are, just spray adhesive that down. Take it to the machine and then you're going to do the head the same way with one layer of fabric and batting. Have it single stitch, trim the fabric away, and then zigzag and satin stitch. Before I do the final satin stitch, I'll go ahead and stitch out the antenna and then I'll satin stitch. This is another way to check that I have that head in the exact right place. So I stitched it out and then I took my paper pattern again, held it up to the light, and put that head exactly in the right place. And then I used two pins to pin it. And now on this side, I could cut it out on this outside line. I know it's exact now, so if in the hooping I cut it off a little, it'll be right. This is exactly a seven inch square. So if I want it to be seven inch finished, at this point I could add a quarter of an inch around the outside. I cut my offset blocks to match my butterfly blocks and that can be a seven inch finished or a six and a half inch finished, whichever this pattern will fit. And I did put a small border. 
the uh, dimensions or any pattern. And then this border is four and a half to five inches finished, will fit this lovely border uh, quilting pattern. Butterflies are facing left and right, left and right, and they're just beautiful. And then this offset pattern is beautiful too. It mirrors the butterflies. And how I do that is I just use my ruler and with uh, disappearing ink, I'll mark the center and then the uh, a straight line here so that the pattern won't be twisted when I set it. And in the pattern, you have a marking for the center and for this line. So once these two are aligned, when you're hooping it, that butterfly will come out just perfect. Remember I was explaining how these are added at the very, very end after everything's quilted so that these little dimensional wings don't get in the way. But I will place them where I want them. And then with my um, temporary ink that will disappear on me, I'll trace the outside of that butterfly then when I go to place the quilting pattern I can align that perfectly now the quilting pattern is just a shadow of the butterfly so it it's going to put this uh, quilted pretty tightly but then outside of the butterfly it's opened so that you're not over quilting. You've got a little place to rest your eyes. And those, uh, then at that point, you can, with matching thread, I just stitch up this top part of the wing and under here, and then that remains dimensional, which is just beautiful for those little babies. They love to play with this. Now in this quilt, I would have had all of my inside quilting done before and my border before I ever bind it. But I did this so that I could show you how to quilt those inside blocks. So it's really good when you're doing machine embroidery to keep your uh, back fabric pretty long so that when you go to hoop it in your hoop, you have enough to grab it. And then the layers, I spray adhesive. The whole quilt is spray adhesive down so it doesn't move at all. You won't get any puckers on the back, which is just fabulous. Um, you can still pin it if you want, but this is so much better. Then I'll sew. I like wide borders, but you can choose any border. This one will be a 3 4 inch finished. So I'll give you the dimensions for that in the pattern. But then I'll lay it across the top fabric, which has been squared. And then with my ruler at that point, I'll cut the back and the batting. And that will give you the perfect width as I then at this point will roll it over, turn under this part and blind stitch to that back seam and then I have a perfect binding where the batting goes clear to that tip. The quilt is finished. The butterflies are attached. Gives them a little more dimension when you sew around the body. The body pops. The offset blocks are beautiful. There's a little shadow quilting under each butterfly. The border is a beautiful pattern that comes with the whole quilt. So come to our website. This pattern comes in a lot of different languages for the different brands of sewing machines. We have many other patterns that are just gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.